Hey everyone, so today I want to do a review on Tarte's Amazonian Clay 12 Hour Full Coverage Foundation. Um, and I'm doing first impression, first time I'm using it, and also just checking in with you throughout the day because it is 12 hours. I'm going to check in in 12 hours and show you what it looks like. So I got this at Sephora and I liked it because it is full coverage and I do like Tarte because um, it's usually paraben free, sulfate free, all those free of all those chemicals that can be dangerous for your skin and also cruelty free. So I really like this stuff. It's more all natural um, and so that's why I chose it. So it comes in this cute little packaging and it is 1.7 fluid ounces. So it's a good amount of um, foundation and I believe it was about $38, so um, better than some of the other ones, still a bit pricey, but it's probably going to last me. So anyway, it's 12 hours uh, made with Amazonian clay and it has SPF 15 in it also. So it has this little wood cap, which is really cute, and then it's just like a squeeze, you just squeeze it out. So I am going to go ahead and apply this and um, show you what it looks like. I've already primed my face. So I'm going to go ahead and get started. And I am medium sand. This is my color that I'm using. So it feels nice and creamy just from kind of putting it on. And you can see my face is uneven skin tone. Okay, so this is it all applied. Um, it went on really well, actually, and it's nice and smooth. Um, yeah, it didn't settle into my pores or anything. It looks beautiful, actually. It's really kind of a satiny finish, um, and it looks like it covered everything up pretty well. I don't know that I'll need concealer for anything uh, besides under my eyes, which is a no-brainer. I always do, but um, it looks really beautiful and it blends really nicely with my skin. It wasn't hard to blend and I really like it. So I'm sure if you need more coverage for whatever reason, you could add another layer, but um, it just feels really nice. It doesn't feel like I'm wearing a lot of makeup or anything like that. So I'll zoom you in so you can see a little better. So you can see that the coverage is just really beautiful. And you can still see my freckles, of course, but that's kind of near my eyes and I like to leave that a little bit um, less coverage, but it's really pretty. So I'm, I'm loving it, actually. <laughs> so um, I'm going to go do the rest of my makeup and you can see what my foundation looks like with, uh, with my makeup on. But um, yeah, so far I like it. and. Um, it looks great, and also it says, so long wear makeup, it's also oil-free makeup, which is important. Um, I'm very oily, so we'll see how it stands up to that as well throughout the day. So I'll see you in a second while I go do my makeup. Okay, well makeup's on, and uh, it still looks great. I really like it. Uh, my skin looks really flawless. So um, I will go ahead and check in with you in about a couple hours, and then in 12 hours, so that you can get an update on how long it truly lasts. All right, well, I'll see you in a bit. Hey guys, so now it's noon and two hours later after I've applied my uh, Tarte Amazonian Clay 12 hour foundation <laughs> and it's holding up really well. Actually, um, just looking into my mirror here, it, you know, I'm pretty oily and I could have probably gone without powder, uh, at least on the periphery of my face. I could have just powdered my T-zone because I'm noticing that it kind of looks a little too matte, if that makes sense or is possible. Um, I like a little bit more of a dewy satin finish, um, but that's awesome to know because it truly is oil free and I guess it was helping control oil. So um, yeah, maybe I could have gone without powder and maybe I'll try that another time and just let you guys know how that works, but it still looks beautiful. It's nice coverage, as you can see. Um, I really like it. Uh, it's not settling into my pores or anything like that, showing any dry spots. Um, the only thing that I would say, um, like I just said, is that it's very matte. <laughs> so anyway, that's my two hour update and I will be back in 10 hours. So at 10 o'clock tonight to give you the update on how it stood um, the test of time. All right, we'll see you tonight. <laughs> Bye. Hey 
Hey everyone, so it's about 10 o'clock, a little after 10 p.m., and I'm getting ready to go to bed and wash my face, but I wanted to give an update of the Tarte foundation. It still looks really good, actually. It's um, still covering uh, a lot, and it looks really similar to when I put it on, actually. Um, the only thing I think that has changed a little bit is that it's gotten a little I've gotten a little oil just in the T-zone, but not even very much at all, even just dewy even, um, nothing where I'm having to blot it off. So I might just bring a uh, powder, you know, along with me during the day to blot a little bit and absorb some of that moisture, but I did do a lot today. I was out running errands, I um, did some cleaning around the house, so I might have been sweating a little bit, and made dinner and all of that kind of thing, so really it went through some some stuff and uh, it's still on my face so it looks nice I really like it I think this is probably my new favorite foundation um, so check it out if you are interested in an oil-free foundation that looks pretty matte um, and it's full coverage so I hope this review was helpful and um, if you try to let me know thank you so much for watching I really appreciate it and be sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and follow me on Facebook and Twitter well I will see you guys next time <laughs> bye